we are for the third and final section of my Panther Valley Class of 1978 yearbook review. Uh, the sports section and all that falls after it. I guess it's all the other classes. So we'll go through kind of fast um, because it's most of the book. <laughs> yes. Surprise. So here we go with sports. All right. And I think I got this down a little bit better. Uh, there is Mr. Davidjok and Mr. Lawrence, the football coaches. Here are, uh, here is the football team. I'll point them out. Let's see. Danny Long. I just realized I needed a pointer. All right. So here's Danny Long, Charlie McAvoy, uh, Jimmy Boyle. Mike Butts, Toot, uh, Jody Price, um, Lyle Montz, um, and a whole bunch of people. I'll just do a close-up so you can see them all. Uh, I'm sure the girls would like to see their sweethearts. Uh, little heartbreakers from high school. Okay. There you go. And there's Charlie McAvoy, number 24. Uh, two people trying to fake each other out. Uh, tackling. I'm sure women like to see guys tackling each other. Probably why they go to the games. And I don't know who that is. And here's a couple guys getting ready to run. More football. Timmy Schilling. Mr. Lawrence, uh, three young kids. Okay, Frank Van Buren, I apologize. Uh, I said you were took before. I'm pretty sure it was you. Uh, here is Joe Lawrence and Jimmy Boyle. Okay, somebody kicking and somebody blocking. Uh, Mark Zuber, he was the quarterback, probably uh, Mr. All-Around Athlete of uh, the class of 78. And a good guy. A good hunter, good fisherman. Okay, there's Toot. Uh, Danny Long. Danny Long went on to play football at Penn State. And uh, according to my um, Facebook comments about getting things wrong. Yep, you're right. I'm not afraid to get things wrong. Uh, but the important thing is you have these pictures. Uh, if you lost your yearbook, you now have uh, a way to show your grandkids or your kids, you know, what you look like in high school. Okay, the swim team. I was on the male swim team and uh, they canceled that in the first year and that was really the only sport I loved to play. I had played football, basketball, baseball in Georgia and uh, was really tired of running around the track a hundred times. Uh, thank God my parents talked me out of football. Okay, here's all the girls in the swim class. Uh, there's my sister Gina. Um, I think one of the McCready girls there. Um... Uh, here's my sister Maria. She looks just like her daughter Mary. That is her. Where's my pointer? That is her right there. And that's my sister Gina looking like a movie star. Yep. Okay, here's a good picture of... Uh, when I was working as a whitewater river guide, I saw this picture a lot. Okay, people struggling for air. Okay, this is a good picture of somebody flying through the air. Um, not sure who it is. And more girls on the swim team. Um, and there's the verbiage. You can pause it if you want to read it. Okay, I'm just going to go through all the stuff very quickly. Here we have um, some sort of group photo and a girl with a gun. Uh, probably working for Donald Trump's campaign right now or with the NRA. And I think this is 
Coach Wilden. Uh, I could be wrong. I always imagined her differently. There's the verbiage. And here's another girl flying through the air doing her Superman impression. Okay. More girls. Could be my sister Patty. I don't think so. Oh, because she graduated already. Yeah. A uh, girl doing a butterfly. I used to be really good at doing the butterfly. Yeah, me and Jimmy Fazio were on a swim team together. Uh, okay, varsity basketball team. There's a close-up. And I have the light uh, adjusted so uh, the shadows aren't so bad as they were before. So, kudos to me. And here's Coach Raider. And for anybody wondering when you're going to play, I'm telling you, you missed the game already, okay? Because it's over 40 years ago. Right? Okay, and here are Mark Zuber, Gary Notstein, Tom Kupanek. Okay, and then here's the verbiage. Uh, if you want to read it, I think I got it all right there. Okay, and the pages are turning good. Okay, some more action shots. Uh, guys jumping. Uh, to bat the ball away from each other. Here's a good action shot of somebody driving towards the basket. Uh, I think that's Mark Zuber. And look at the face of that guy. That's intense. Okay, and here is uh, more action shots. Okay, and a picture of the trophies. I don't really care too much about the trophies. Uh, I think that's Lyle Montz. I didn't know he was on the basketball team. thought he was on the golf team. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. It's funny that somebody from another school made it into our yearbook. Uh, there's somebody shooting for a basket. Okay, freshman sports. Um, now I know what these are. I thought they were uh, casual so shots of the same people. They're not. It's the freshman team not in their uniforms. Uh, I guess I should get the names. Okay, here's, here's the top row. There you go. And here's the bottom row. Okay. And girls volleyball. Uh, there you go. And I'm sure you're going to see Brenda Morgan in a lot of the girls sports. She was on all the girls teams. Okay, more volleyball. Uh, not sure who this girl is, but there you go. Here's a good shot of Brenda being ready. Okay, oh, there's a good shot of... Um, Renee Belovich. There you go, Mark Zuber. That shot's for you. And here's a good shot. Uh, this is a good photo, actually. Well composed. Here is Nina Helmand and Renee Belovich in lockers. That happened to me in Georgia one time, only uh, they were wire, chicken wire lockers and uh, the big... The guys that were 16-year-olds just locked us in there and left us there. Okay, and here is close-up. And not sure if you could read the verbiage, but I got it as best I can. Okay, there is, I believe, I don't know who. And I guess if you know who your number is, you know who you are. Um, and here is the verbiage. Molly, Lizzie, can you dig it to me? Beefy, come on in. Uh, I don't know. What is this? I guess this is more volleyball. Here's Irene Hellman. Um. And 
Can't get the number on that girl. That must be younger class, or just maybe more shots. Here is, I'm going to say Brenda Morgan again, but I don't know. It's a good shot of Nina. I knew Nina and Irene when I was growing up. Uh, it could be Denise Dyan. Like I said, I could have it wrong. Uh, Sandy, Jane, Karen. Yep, I am not afraid of being wrong. Okay, and here is, I don't know, but I got a pretty good shot of them. Okay, girls, this is for you. Uh, men beating each other up, which something I think all girls love. Um, there you go. Uh, not sure who they are. Guys waiting on the bench. That's kind of a, a weird photo. Very embarrassing. Whoever you are, uh, you are now going to be infamous. And here is the wrestling team. I can see. There's Bobby Graver. I'm going to say Joe Tessitore. Angelo Meal. Bob Pollard. Um, and that's all I dare. Uh, okay, here's a good shot of. I don't know. And looks like that guy's getting punched in the face. And that is. I'm going to say Coach Raider. Maybe not. Okay, here is. I don't know who. Uh, I guess shots of the wrestling team in their jerseys, close ups. Oh, their names are on there Joe Tessitore, Angelo Meal. Okay. Bob Pollard. Bob Graver, and there's some verbiage here, all right, and there is the subject of the verbiage, okay, I'll try to get close-ups of everybody, Oops. all right, uh, Danny Farrell, he was apparently successful, an executive at some machine factory. Uh, I think he was on the yearbook committee because he got to put in some thoughts. Okay. I guess he always knew he wanted to excel. Some more guy on guy beating each other up. Okay. More verbiage, uh, action shot of somebody winning. There you go. And like I said, here's the schedule. If you were going to the game, you missed it. Okay, the golf club. I know I've said uh, there's several dozen people on the golf club. But there isn't, okay? It's a very small team, actually. And here they all are, okay? Uh, that is, I don't know who's up top, but the second from the left is Bill McGilski. Um, two other guys. I don't know who the coach is. I have no idea who that coach is. I've never seen him in a school at all, okay? Uh, John Zuber, I believe. And Benji Lesnick. He was a pretty cool kid. Look at that hair. Okay, the guy is a hair factory. Uh, he went on to become a great golfer. All right. Uh, actually made some money at it and then found out that uh, it's all relative. There's some artwork. And here is some verbiage of their record. Um, okay. And apparently Michelle Rako, Alexis Mollick were the first female golfers in Panther Valley history. And once again, there's a guy who I never saw before. The coach. <laughs> Alright, here is the baseball team. I'll do a close-up of that. Let's see. Give it a chance to focus. There you go. 
do a slow pan. Apparently there were two girls in the baseball team. We were way ahead of our time at Panther Valley. Uh, I guess they didn't have uniforms. Okay, and I think that's Frankie Brooks. No, maybe not. Um, Mark Holland? I don't know. Uh, Bob Dieter. This could be our class. Okay, here's Frankie Brooks. Uh, he was my childhood friend, best friend, when we lived on Amidon Street before my family moved to Georgia. I think he lives in New Jersey on the coast somewhere. Jimmy Boyle. Uh, he went out with my sister Regina. Bobby Graver. Uh, I gave him a ride one time after high school when we were drinking and driving, and he threw his beer bottle out the window, and I gave him a hard time. Uh, so, Bob, don't throw your beer bottles out the window, okay? Okay, let's see. Baseball action shot. Uh, I guess we're still on the baseball team. Bill McGilski. Bob Dieter. Bob Dieter lived across the street from me. Uh, found out there were farm girls over in Lehighton, and he never came back. Uh, somebody pitching. I have no idea about baseball whatsoever. But for those of you that may may have ideas about baseball or want to see yourselves so here you are, and there is the verbiage to back up whatever it is you're seeing. Okay. Softball, uh, it's the women's team. I don't know who. I think that's Abby somebody. Abby Hoffman. Uh, here's close-ups if I can get it. Apologize for the camera shaking. I think I've seen one of the Hellman sisters there. Maybe not. I'm pretty sure Brenda Morgan's in there. Uh, I think that's Brenda Morgan. And that is Abby. Um... I think those are guys. I don't know what the pictures are doing here. Okay, and there is Coach Herman. I think Sandy Jean was giving me a hard time about calling one of the students, one of the teachers a student. And Miss Herman was not a student. She was a teacher. Okay, look, somebody must be hurt. Or maybe they're just getting their stuff on or trying to find their equipment. Here is a girl pitching the softball. Here's a good close-up of Brenda Morgan. Brenda Morgan, what are you up to now? Okay. Chime in on this Facebook page and let us know how you're doing. Uh, Abby Bliss. I say Abby Hoffman. It's not Abby Hoffman. It's Abby Bliss. Uh, and I don't know who that is, but she's got nice hair. Very curly. Well. Boys love curly hair. Okay, on to the next page. Uh, there's somebody jumping over a fence. And I think this is Mark Zuber. I could be wrong. Uh, action shots. Here's a good football shot. Um, more wrestling. Here's a, I think the girls diving are probably the best photos in this whole gosh darn book. Yep, very well done. Uh, there was another one too. Here's the girls in their uh, uniform. Jackie Evans and Bonnie Hager on the ends. I don't know who the girl is in the middle. Um, no idea. But anyhow, Bonnie, I apologize for getting calling somebody you and it wasn't you it was somebody else uh, and then some more verbiage of words of wisdom to remember forever never never yeah that's how important it is somebody is really excited somebody's jumping very far okay track that's what this is okay here's the verbiage 
There is the schedule, so if you were planning on attending, you missed it. Uh, here's some guys running very far. Here's some guys running not so far, very fast. Okay. And here is shot put. Not sure who it is. Here's a solo. He almost looks like a McGeehan. Uh, here's Jeannie Nowitzki. She was such a hottie. Yep. Yeah, nice smile. Nice long brown hair. And here's Danny Long. Uh, who turned out to be quite an athlete and became an engineer and moved back to the area. Okay. Some more ca casual pictures. Mike Babinets. Mark Holland, I think he married Jack Evans. Uh, Mark, your name is spelled wrong somewhere. I'm sure it's spelled wrong here. Or maybe Jackie Evans married somebody named Mark Holland. Here's Dave Hawk. Uh, John Rompalo. Tom Kopenick. Here is Paul Smith with the very English name. Here was a great guy, Dave Masenka. He was in one of my classes. Nice shirt, Dave. You're very stylish. I had a shirt like that, but it was just too cool for school. So I stopped wearing it. Mike Schubeck. Charlie McAvoy, who had a bunch of concussions, so I hope you are better. And this is Dan Long. Okay. Nice striped shirt. Okay, girls basketball. Okay. Um... I think that's one of the Hellman girls. They didn't ever seem to be tall enough for that. But I guess in high school you're just growing up. And we're not uh, 10 years old forever. Okay, there's a um, picture of girls dribbling. I'm going to say... I don't know. I don't know who those girls are. But there's something up there. And... Warner Girls wants to hit it with the basketball. Okay, more pictures. And then here is uh, the accolades of Brenda Morgan. Uh, she scored a thousand points. Way to go, Brenda. Is this a shot of her? Yeah, like there's a, a tribute to Brenda, but no real good Brenda being a superstar photo. Girls basketball, there's the verbiage, there's the schedule, so you're 40-some years too late. Yeah. I guess I'm 40 years too late. What's that? Uh, song about the pirate. I think it is Jimmy Buffett, but it's sung by the surfing dude. Okay, here's a good shot of a girl with long legs. And is that basketball just way too large? That really seems kind of funny. I don't know who that girl is. Let's see if I can get her. Well, so if you know who you are, I think I got a good shot of you. And I don't know who that is. And my go-to name for the girls that I don't know is either Bonnie Hager or Ann McCready. Okay, so there is Ann McCready. Uh, here is some collage that somebody put together. Okay, here is... Okay, this page may be of interest. Alright. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's saying. But some actual photography going on there. Rich Dopira uh, giving some sort of look there. Here is uh, Maureen McConnell. McConnell or whatever. Hey, I used to make her laugh so hard that she peed her pants. And there is Bonnie Hager for real on the left. And I'm going to say Francine Gusick. Okay, two cuties. Uh, Francine, get well. We're all praying for you. So... Hang in there. You will be able to run and play and uh, enjoy yourself again. There is Patty Mahalik. I went to school with her. 
Uh, very nice girl. Always liked her. Okay. And Patty Holt. I like Patty Holt. I probably like her even more now. She's down in Florida with her little farm taking care of abused animals. Uh, she was in law enforcement uh, for years uh, in South Florida. And uh, I always remember Mr. Harkins calling her uh, Holty. He just loved dragging out that H. Who could drag out an H? Mr. Harkins could. Okay, here's Maureen uh, McGeehan, I'm pretty sure. All right, looking good. Uh, Chrissy Kane. I don't know who the other girl is. Here's Jimmy Faust. I told you he won a million dollars. Uh, and he never changed. The guy is absolutely psychotic. Uh, we love you, Jimmy Faust. And here is Cheryl Dominic, a hottie. Two hotties, Don Miller and Cheryl Dominic. Both looking good there, okay? Love that hair. Um, Michael Galgochi. And that is that for that page. Uh, Joe Tessitore, looking cool. Um, I'm going to say Mark Zuber with a hunting hat. Who knew he hunted so much? Uh, I did because he talked about uh, getting the bucks in doe season. Okay, here's another picture of Brenda Morgan. I don't ever get Brenda Morgan's name wrong because uh, she's very well defined. Here is... Uh, Oh, shoot, I can't remember his name now. I said it before. Timmy Maurer. Okay, he was a real Casanova. The girls just loved him. Angelo Mio, Mike Babinitz. Um, uh, Mary Malloy, she was uh, very good looking. They're both very good looking girls. Um, and I'm going to say that is Bob Hoban. Yep, Bob Hoban. Um, two girls, Marianne Kutza, and okay, I guess just one girl's bio. Okay, so here is two more girls: Debbie Watkins, Wally. Uh, here is Bill McGilski. Oh, these are the things that they did. Okay. Uh, Kenny Christopher. There's Paul Smith once again. Dare Cheryl Praskak. We actually, we all love you, Cheryl. We hope you're doing well. Uh, you're looking good. Uh, ever since you were in kindergarten, you had a fan club of guys who just absolutely loved you. And here's two more hotties. Renee Belovitz and Georgine Tier. Georgine, what a great picture of you. You're looking good. You look like a movie star. And I'm going to say Jane Oslefki. Jane, where are you at? You got to let us know. Okay. Uh, I think that is Jane Heffelfinger in the background. Uh, here we go. There is Jim Swanson. I went to college with him. I dropped out and joined the Air Force. He stayed in, got his degree. Good going, James. Um, Carolyn Miller. Uh, Mike Schubeck. He's in a lot of pictures. I didn't really know him that well. Okay, here is my friend uh, Paul Eikhoff, being silly. And Kevin Conahan. Kevin Conahan was a very energetic person. Uh, and there is their bios, uh, Gary Notstein, Bobby Graver, some casual picks. It looks like Gary Notstein broke his leg. Um, I can't remember his name. Uh, oh, there's my good friend Nick Facilio looking good with some hot chick, Veronica Dominic. She's such a good-looking girl. I don't think that's Veronica, though. I could be wrong, okay? Maybe it's Bonnie Hager or uh, Ann McCready. And oh, I guess... Uh, I don't know how these pictures line up, okay? And here is Abby and Denise Nyan. 
Avril Bliss, Abby Bliss. Okay, uh, Avril was throwing me off. All right. Now, uh, Tommy McArdle, he was a real Casanova. Probably still is. He's living down there in New Jersey. Uh, Eddie Reistetter, uh, his family owned a supermarket. He was a real uh, flamboyant guy, very talkative, had no trouble speaking in public. Lyle Montz and Artie Eikhoff. Artie always had good parties at his house, and Lyle was just a super funny guy. Uh, Mark Holland, he was funny too. He was in my French class. Um, let's see. I'm going to say that's Eileen McLaughlin looking really good there. I don't know who the girl is. Um, Donna Billig looking nice. like the jacket. Uh, Heidi Yerchak, uh, that picture does not do you justice. You are such a good looking woman. Danny Long, and I'm going to say Bill McGilski. Joe Lawrence, okay. Joe Mama. <laughs> okay, there is, I'm sure it's Rich Probilla. I could recognize him if he was on the moon. Marie Horvath, she was uh, a really good looking girl in my French class, I believe. Let's see. I don't know who Nancy Davis is. Maybe she was a teacher. Uh, Diane D. 